everyone, you are here because you want to know how to assemble your large clone tank. In this video, I'm going to give you a full look at what you receive when you order a large clone tank and how to assemble it. Without further ado, let's check out our large clone tank. First thing you need to know is that we do not include batteries and you'll need eight AAA batteries. All right, here we go. In your large clone tank box, you will receive a remote for the lights. You'll also receive these two connectors for what we're going to call the stem, which is the middle part of your tank. And then you'll receive the top of your tank, which includes a light inside, and the bottom of your tank, which includes a light inside as well. And inside, you'll also receive a couple little packets. This one has your large clone tank pipes and glass. And the second one contains some glue dots for some assembly. Now this is everything except for the batteries that'll be included in your large clone tank box. Now let's talk about the lights that come inside your large clone tank. These lights pop in and out fairly easily into the base and into the top of your clone tank. So if they slide in there a little too far, just know that you can pop them out yourself. Once again, no batteries will actually be shipped out to you, so you're going to need eight AAA batteries. So you simply turn the bottom of your light and then you will insert in the correct direction your three AAA batteries. Make sure the plus is going in the right direction and the minus are going in the right directions, which is stated inside. Then you're going to just twist your cap back onto the bottom. And it's as easy as that. Then you'll turn it over and you can now see that when you push the light, it'll turn on and off. Now the next step is to do the same thing with the top of your clone tank. And once again, make sure your batteries are all in the correct direction. And you can test your light out after you install the batteries. Next up is the remote for lights. And it's only going to actually take two AAA batteries. So you'll just pop the back off. And then you can pop it right back on. And your remote should be ready to go. Now let's show how our remote can actually work with our lights. So first thing you're going to have to do is actually turn your lights on by pushing them. And now you can turn them off with your remote and then turn them right back on. So the lights actually have to be on before the remote can work. It actually has a dimmer as well on it, so you can lower or raise the brightness so your figure can be more illuminated. Next up, we're gonna show how to install the pipes and the glass, and we're gonna use these glue dots that are included. When you open up your pipes and glass packaging, you'll have four pieces of glass and three pipes included. The four pieces of glass will be installed in the base of your tank, and the three pipes will be installed in the top of your tank. The pipes go with the longest one by itself on the outside, and then the medium-sized one and the smallest one on the other side. This being the top piece, our pipes are going to actually have to be secured in the top here so they don't fall out. So that is where our glue dots are going to come into play. So you'll simply open your glue dot package from the back, and then take it out of the packaging. If you've never used glue dots before, it simply is a strip that has little dots of glue on it that you can actually stick to things and they'll stick in place. So for our piping, we're simply gonna take our pipe, we're gonna put it on our little glue dot, and then it should simply peel off our paper and stay onto the bottom of the piping. As you can see, it's on the bottom here. And then we're going to take that and we're going to stick it in the hole and it should actually securely stay in there now and not fall out. And then you'll use the exact same technique to put your other two pipes in. And then after you've installed them with your glue dots, they should be all secure. So if we tip it over here now, they don't fall out. So next up is our glass that we need to install into the base of our clone tank. And we're going to use our glue dots as well for this. But with some of our bigger pieces, we're probably going to need to use two, one on each end, so it'll actually stay securely in there. Now, our largest piece of glass goes over here on the side, and our next largest piece is going to go on the opposite side. Next, our small rectangular piece is going to go this direction with it angling down and inwards. And then our last piece of glass is going to go in in this orientation, and from there, all of our glass should actually be installed, and if we tip it over, none of it should be able to fall out. Now that we have all of our glass and our piping installed, we can now actually finish putting the clone tank together. 
and we're going to need our stem and our two connector pieces. As you can see, you can establish our top connector piece and our bottom because of this pipe here that's on our top piece and on our stem here in the middle. So we're going to take the one with the actual hole for the pipe here and we're going to stick it right on. And then we're going to take that same piece and we're going to put it onto the top of our clone tank. They're going to be a little bit tight because we wanted them to stay really secure. So really push it in there. Um, try to be careful, but you should easily be able to get both parts in after a little pressure. And there we have it. We have the top part now connected to our stem. So next up, we're going to have to connect it to the base here. And to do that, we're going to use our other connector piece here, and we're going to simply slide that on. It is a little bit tight as well to get it in there. So you really got to push it in there and kind of maneuver it in. And then from there, we put our little connector onto our base, which I have to actually line it up here a little bit better. And after a little bit of pushing, we get it in. And just like that, we now have our fully installed clone tank. Now, if you're using the actual connectors to install your clone tank, as you can see, it's going to be a little bit taller than if you're actually going to just glue them together. Also, with all your clone tanks, you should receive the actual character figure that you ordered, and it will slide right in here once you unpackage it. And just like that, your clone tank is all complete. Now, if you don't want to use the actual connectors, you may also use some super glue. My personal favorite is the Bob Smith Industries MaxiCure. So you would just put a little bit of it on here, and then you're going to put your piece on. And they also have an accelerator that I like to use. And I would just take that accelerator and spray it on there so I don't have to hold it for a good minute or two. And then you're going to do it with your top piece on top as well. Now, hopefully you navigated your way through this video and you got your clone tank all together and you love it. And once again, thank you so much for your purchase and I'll see you next time.